Flags are flying at half staff across Wisconsin today in honor of the victims of September 11th. In Milwaukee, many gathered for a 9-11 remembrance ceremony at the War Memorial. Ann Sterling shares this story. Sixteen years later, Milwaukee remembers. I saw a plane flying through the sky and I remember, you know, after the attacks, for days, we didn't see airplanes. The United States changed forever when terrorists flew two planes into the World Trade Center. Another plane went into the Pentagon. A fourth crashed in Pennsylvania after passengers rushed the hijackers. We honor their sacrifice today. We remember, as Senator Johnson said, that is, that is what America is about. First responders going in when other people ran. Nearly 3,000 people died in the 9 11 attacks. 343 were firefighters who rushed into the burning towers to try and save thousands of lives. We all remember where we were. This morning, Senator Ron Johnson talked about remembering what happened 16 years ago today, but also the importance of teaching students the history of 9-11. Making sure that our young people also remember these things. It, it happens every generation. Uh, new generations are born, they, they, they didn't witness the tragedies, but that's why we teach history. But I think it's good for us to remember that, that freedom isn't free, and that there are people every day uh, standing guard, whether it's our policemen who stand guard, whether it's our firefighters who stand guard, and, and our military standing guard. White reefs were laid to represent those first responders and branches of military who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Ann Sterling, today's TMJ4. Now, if you would like to attend a 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony, head over to Miller Park at 4 p.m. It, be, it begins, or it is being held by the Milwaukee and Wauwatosa Fire Departments.